The Amazon River is home to a terrifying collection of man-eating monsters. And in the darkest corners lurks a dinosaur. Legends tell of an evil spirit inhabiting an enormous fish. Longer than a man, it is encased in thick scales, and it crushes its prey with a tongue made of bone. But with a body of pure muscle, its primary weapon is raw power. I'm Jeremy Wade, biologist and extreme angler, and I've encountered this creature once before. Hey! That time I came out second best, but now I'm ready for the rematch. Yes! I've been coming to the Amazon for 15 years, and a tale I've heard many times is that of a fisherman going missing. Far from home on a remote tributary of the Amazon, something happens. People tell of a creature leaping out of the water, knocking the fisherman from his canoe. But with no eyewitnesses, the list of suspects is speculative at best. Could there really be a monster in the Amazon capable of doing this? And if so, what kind of beast could it be? Anaconda, caiman, piranha are all convicted killers. But in my travels around the world, I've caught some super-sized freshwater fish that are more than capable of doing the job. Is there one more river monster to add to the list of the Amazon's usual suspects? A creature that has somehow slipped through the net. The story of a canoe found floating, nobody in it, fishermen disappeared, the automatic assumption from everybody was that it was a caiman or an anaconda, those are the, the obvious candidates, but I've been doing a bit of thinking and I think another animal might have been involved and what I think it might have been is one of these. Now, I mean, this is a real armour coat, this, and it looks as if it's a snake or some other reptile, but believe it or not, this is actually a fish and this is a big fish. This is the skin of an arapaima fish and if its scales make you think of a dinosaur, that's because the arapaima is indeed a dinosaur of sorts. It has swum in these waters virtually unchanged since the Cretaceous period. That is just a single scale from this animal. I mean, you know, that is pretty impressive. But they go a lot bigger than that. And the reason I know that is that. Now, whatever that came off, that would have been a serious river monster. Arapaima have been caught measuring up to 10 foot long, making them the largest freshwater fish in the world's largest river. But in recent years, they have been relentlessly overfished, and today they are so rare, it is forbidden to catch them in most areas. However, they are potentially found throughout the countless thousand miles of river that make up the Amazon basin. And I believe Arapaima may be responsible for killing some of those missing people. My mission is to investigate this theory and see if I can track down and even catch one of these potential killers. I've begun my quest in Manaus, the Wild West frontier town at the heart of the Brazilian Amazon. I need to know what I'm dealing with, and for that I'm going to visit some captive arapaima, and I know just the place. Normally in the Amazon, seeing Arapaima